All right, so you guys want to know the secret to catching Juno Pierce Snook? Well, here it is. Rope oh. Daddy. Straight up and down. Oh, Chris is about to get on. Aren't you? Dude, it looks like your fish is under the pier. Oh, he spit it. Did he? Yeah, Did he push it all the way up against the pier? Yeah, he nudged it all the way up to the pier. So they're so pissed. They just want to kill the croakers. That's it. Anyways. Are you still... Anyways. Victor needs to get redemption today. Yes, the big other time. Day was not so good for him. You caught 10. I did catch 10. Granted, you caught two or three before I even got That's true. to the pier. Well, it's because I woke up at 3.50 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> not That's working. true. Croker is freaking. That was a big one. That was a main breeder. Dude, they trick you. The croaker starts swimming towards the pier. They're scared, dude. Yeah. They do not want to be out there. No, they do not. That's uh, the sand perch I fish. The first cast, I put it right over the pod. It, it, the weight hit the bottom. It swam up and into the pier. Like, oh. No, they know. Oh, they you know. think you're getting thumped because they're just trying to swim away so hard, and that lead's just bouncing up and down like that. I think 80 fluoro looks probably like 60 mono. Mono, and I think that's where the misconception comes in. They're only eating fluoro. It's because you already have a thinner diameter to begin with. Right. So if someone's fishing 30 fluoro and 30 mono, 30 fluoro looks like 20. Right. That's it. I think, the, I think you're onto something. No, that's it. That's that's it. And not, not to mention, floral comes out of the package straighter and it sits straighter. Mono's usually a lot more squiggled. Oh, go, 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 go. Get this man a net. No, don't get the net. No, bro, he's got him. He's got him. Before they hook the fence. Will I get the net yet? You! No, my Oh, yeah. oh hell no, brother. Now, oh. fucking doing them they don't want to fucking Bro. There, you know the net right behind you, bro. I'm just trying to keep my croaker alive, that's it. Hold on, we finna come over here. Bro, you showed all your bodies up. Hurry up, come on! <laughs> down, down, let it sink. There you go. Up, up. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm not supposed to pick it up. Oh. Up, up, up. Oh. Wow. It's not a redfish. I forgot the level one when I was doing that. That's why you keep your spool half spool. Yeah, I know. You got him, bro. On the MX, on the SX? On the SX. Look at that. I'm proud of that, though. This kid says he doesn't need an HXW or a Baja or a Floro. That's a big one, bro. Mind your way, Ricky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just trying to keep my croaker alive. Oh, wow, thanks. Much love felt. You on. Gonna flip it? In low gear. High gear. My fish swam straight up and out to the side. Do I have permission to go in your pants, buddy?
what I had the double. Swivel, you need a uni, whatever you want. Jimmy, you still need to wait? No, I have three out. Are you good? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, we're going finesse game. You see how small my hook was? Odd. Oh. Silo, I'm on the board. Big time. Woo! How many inches do you Oh, it's small. It's like 15 any, like, inches. Little wide bait hooks I can borrow. Uh, uh, yeah. Because I only have like big mustads. What you need? Just like a little like. Like a 1 0, 2 0? Yeah, okay. like a 1 0. Get by your own tackle now? No, that was perfect. Thanks. My hooks are blessed. They're pilchards. Go ahead. Hopefully they don't touch the deck. Hmm? Huh? Hopefully they don't touch the deck. They don't, it doesn't matter if they touch the deck. Come on, come on, come on! Oh boy, we got problems. We do got problems. Ciao. You judging my little circle hook, Chris? Who? You judging my little circle hook? Look at that thing. Why would I judge your little circle hook? Perfect. What did I say anything about? I thought you were making fun of it yesterday. No. Yeah. I fish circle hooks all the time. You do? Dude. Oh. All right, we got two on. It's just going to become a numbers game now today, Chris. I don't care how big they are. And it wouldn't come back. Oh, I had a fish on. Yeah. Am I over you or under you? Yeah. Woo! He's working here. Yeah. Here, my bad. Just lift your rod up. They didn't even know I had them on. Nope. These fish are all like the exact same size. Yeah, if you get out there, they get a little bigger. I was out there. You saw how far I casted. Dude, see, that's all you need is that little tiny baby circle hook, and they eat it so good. The baby circle. The baby circle. Is that what it is? Baby that circle and 45. No, not true. No. I've seen smaller. I've seen some kid at the. Are you filming today? Yeah, I've been filming the whole time. Say what's up. What's up? Say what's up. What's up, dog? Hey, also say one thing, because so many people are afraid to come up to me because they think I'm going to bite them or something. Am I an imitate, intimidating guy? No, you're the coolest guy ever. No, see? Victor's there you go. cool. See? Everyone, if you guys see me in public, say hi. Say what's up. Yeah. I'm here to fish just like you guys. But you make him go slower. Just kind of keep tight with your line the whole time and kind of try to know where your pilchard is. I mean, you want them to go fast. You the pil the snook like them fast, but you want to control it so that they can't move too far. You know. Yeah. I mean, I let them do what they want. Look right here, right behind the head. See right there. 
Going just like that. Boom. Is that how you rig them for kings too? Uh, no, kingfish is always in the throat. You want your you want your bait to swim down when you're offshore. Just, you need this? Yeah. I'll get the bottom. Next time I'm going to the beach and just cast it. Yeah, as soon as the lifeguards leave. See, you know about the baby circle hook? Yeah. <laughs> the baby circle hook gets it done. That's the best. Oh, bro, you should throw in right now. They're fired up right now. Snook, open your eyes. What the hell is this? Bro, I had a fish on this whole time. Really? Yes. Oh. Told you, they're so fired up right now. Cast out there, you'll get instant. Yeah, real good. It's number five. Drop the thing down. How? Grab another one. Oh. Oh my God. Why are people just calling you saying that as soon as I answer? Is that your beaker right there? Yeah. Wanna use it? Yeah. Is that how to properly release? I'll take one. Man, these little guys, I don't think it matters if you throw them, chuck them over. Dude, that one's. We think that the GoPro is bad luck. It's not bad luck, trust me. DSLRs, they're bad luck. GoPros, not so much. Get Ever since I started filming shark fishing, I can't catch anything off the beach anymore. Really? That snook sliced me open. I know, I saw that when I was getting the bait off. Oh, you got eight. Boom! That was a decent one, too. You're wrapped. All right, so you guys want to know the secret to catching Juno Pierce snook? Well, here it is. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, um, a lot of times when you're trying to get snook to eat during the middle of the day, you want a really lively bait, like a little pilchard or a DJ. And what I've done for years and what we used to do as kids is uh, sometimes your bait will swim too fast. So if you just use your teeth and you just kind of bite his tail off a little bit, and bite his tail off a little bit there, the pilchard can't swim as fast and you're able to keep more control of your bait. So that's a little peer trick I'm gonna teach you guys because not a lot of people would probably put a pilchard in their mouth, but if you're about it and you guys wanna catch snook, that's what you gotta do. So yeah, there you have it. So the story behind this pilchard is my good buddy Israel, who I just met at the pier, right? Say what's up. So What's your Instagram name? Israel underscore 5K. Ladies, if you wanna follow him, go ahead. It'll be in the description box below, but we just got done filming a snakehead episode and um, I lost the thumbnail for the video you guys are watching now. So me and Brooks just drove to Deerfield to get this pilcher. The most expensive expensive pilcher I've ever bought. $3 to get three people on the pier and $1 to park. This guy costs $4 right here. But you gotta do it for the views. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment below clickbait because clickbait is what gets the views, helps this channel grow, and uh, for me to be able to put out the content that I put out for you guys. So if you guys made it to the end of this video and if you guys clicked on this video because of the clickbait, comment below clickbait. Yeah? Yeah. And you guys all say what's up. What's up? What's up? Clickbait! 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 Clickbait!